Question 11 of JAM 2016 government exam says, A nation could be identified through its Option A, military strength. Option B, common language and culture. Option C, population. Option D, constitution. Now, to answer this question, we need to first of all define what a nation is. A nation is a large group of people living in one area with shared culture, tradition, history and language, but sometimes not necessarily living under the same government and sovereignty. Now from this definition, we can see that our correct answer is option B, a nation could be identified through its common language and culture. Question 12 of JAM 2016 government exam says, a network of group of people in an institution expressing human association is Option A, community. Option B, society. Option C, nation. Option D, state. Now, the correct answer to this question is option B, society. Now, this is because of this institution we are seeing here, a group of people in an institution. So, it makes it a society because society is referred to as a large group of people who live together in an organized way making decisions about how to do things and share work that needs to be done. So the correct answer is option B, society. Question 13 of JAM 2016 government exam says, The Commission of Mediation, Conciliation and Arbitration is an organ of Option A, the United Nations, Option B, Commonwealth, Option C, Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries. Option D, African Union. Now, the correct answer to this question is Option D, African Union. This organization was mainly set up to settle disputes among the member states of the organization, and about 21 member states makes up this commission, and it is for a period of five years. Question 14 of JAM 2016 government exam says, The policy of assimilation was the colonial policy of the Option A, French, Option B, British, Option C, Portuguese, Option D, German. Now the correct answer to this question is Option A, French. The policy of assimilation was one ideological basis of French colonial policy in the 19th and the 20th century. In contrast to the British imperial policy, the French taught their subjects that by adopting French language and culture, they could eventually become French. So the policy of assimilation was the colonial policy of the French. So our correct answer is option A. Question 15 of JAM 2016 government exam says, the appointment Promotion and discipline of civil servants is the responsibility of the Option A, Civil Service Commission Option B, Public Compliance Commission Option C, Judicial Service Commission Option D, Public Service Institution of Nigeria Now the correct answer to this question is Option A, Civil Service Commission The Commission is an independent body with members holding office based on good behavior and it is set up by the government and entrusted with the duties of recruiting men into the service by open competition supplemented by interview in some cases. The commission also handle promotion, discipline and dismissal of civil servants. So our correct answer is option A. Question 16 of JAM 2016 Government exam says, a country is said to operate an unwritten constitution if the option A, constitution is not contained in a single document, option B, constitution cannot be written down, option C, existing constitution can be suspended at will, option D, country is not having a printed constitution. Now, unwritten constitution, as the name implies, is one in which the fundamental principles of the organization and the power of the government are not confiled in one document. It is usually a combination of statutes, judicial principles, customs and conventions which guides and operates 
the government? So from this, we can say our correct answer is option A, if the constitution is not contained in a single document. Question 17 of JAM 2016 government exam says, the form of government added by a king is option A, monarchy, option B, presidentialism, option C, fascism, option D, republicanism. Now the correct answer to this question is option A, monarchy. Monarchy is a system of government by a king, queen or emperor. It is a system that makes the office of the head of state to be hereditary and not elective. So this system of government is based on hereditary. Our correct answer once again is option A, monarchy. Question 18 of JAM 2016 government exam says, Citizens exercise their sovereignty by Option A. Attending political rallies Option B. Voting at elections Option C. Registration to vote Option D. Their right to sue the state Now the correct answer to this question is Option B. Voting at election Now when a citizen exercises his or her franchise at a referendum, he or she is engaging directly in issues relating to sovereignty specified in the constitution or as determined by the judiciary. On the other hand, when the citizen exercises his or her franchise to elect a president and members of parliament, he or she delegates part of his or her sovereignty for a specific period to the individual whom the voter expects will act to further his or her interests and well-being while protecting the voters' sovereignty. Now we can see that the genesis of the people's sovereignty is the franchise. Without it, there cannot be power of government. So our correct answer, like I said earlier on, is option B, voting at election. Question 19 of JAM 2016 government exam says, which of these is an attribute of government? Option A, political power. Option B, sovereignty. Option C, constitution. Option D, definite territory. Now, the attributes of government are law, political power, revenue, public support, personnel, and welfare services. So, our correct answer is option A, political power. Talking about sovereignty, sovereignty can never be an attribute of government. Rather, it is an attribute of the state because government comes and go, whereas states remain. And sovereignty is the complete or absolute power a state has over the citizen. It is also the power of the state to exercise legal authority over its own affair within its territory without any form of external control. So we can see that the attribute of government is political power. Question 20 of JAM 2016 government exam says, Nigerian judiciary is headed by Option A, Attorney General and the Minister of Justice. Option B, Solicitor General of the Federation. Option C, Chief Justice of the Federation. Option D, President, Court of Appeal. Now the correct answer to this question is option C, Chief Justice of the Federation. The Chief Justice of the Federation of Nigeria is the head of the judicial arms of government of Nigeria and presides over the country's Supreme Court and the National Judicial Council. The Supreme Court of Nigeria is the highest court in Nigeria and its decisions is final. The Chief Justice of Nigeria is nominated by the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria upon recommendation by the National Judicial Council and is subject to confirmation by the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. So, our correct answer to the question is option C, Chief Justice of the Federation.